What's up, guys? And welcome back to It's Only Money. We are back here in Rock Haven. Our come up continues, and we've got a mission from the Beggar King. Hey, you kid. You've proven you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I suppose nobody who lives in a sewer would be afraid to get their hands dirty. I'm sure if we could choose, we'd probably wash our hands. Anyway, it's time for you to meet Nana. She's in the dungeon. That's what we call our bar. It's not much of a bar, but we like to role play as patrons when we get bored. Nana interfaces with our runners on the surface, and when they run into trouble, she organizes back up. She's always got work going, so if you need cash, it's always worth having a chat with her. All right, sounds good to me. So, Nana is going to be a uh, little side mission giver. She's going to hit us up with uh, some missions to go beat some people up, I guess. Oh, hello, sweetie. I've seen you helping out down here. I'm Nana. I keep a list of naughty boys and girls topside who need their hide booted. Our people run into all kinds of trouble topside, and I send up available hands to make sure they're safe. So Nana's a bit of a thug. She runs hit missions here. We're going to go to Stafford Storage. And we're going to see if we can't handle some some business. Beat up the Gurano man? Oh, there's a, a bunch of them. What's up, bro? I got an issue with you. Knocked him out. He's got some some flowers on him. Might be able to grab the Oh, we can we can beat him with the flowers and then we can we can loot him up. Beautiful. All right. Let me see what you got here. $9, not bad. Got another target right here. <laughs> Just beating him with a bouquet of flowers. Let's go. I'm not sure if we would rather sell these at the the market or actually use them to hit these guys, but I feel like the, the kicks in this game are way OP. We also, I know eventually we're going to be able to like take some classes. We're going to be able to get some better moves to be able to fight. And I think you can get guns and stuff in this game too. It's it's a pretty a pretty deep situation we've we've got for the, the fighting. <laughs> Little karate kick there. Hit him with the power punch. Let's go. Hey, I probably should have told you this earlier, but if you plan on doing more jobs for Nanny, you probably want to learn new moves. There's dojos all around Rock Haven, but I'll send you the location for Awesome Dragon. Head over and learn a thing or two. Sounds good to me. Honestly, I think that's probably best case scenario. We should know how to defend ourselves. Now, I did notice we've been picking up uh, standard chests. Can we use... We've got loot boxes in here. All right, let's see what we get. A barrel table structure item. Okay, sick. Really excited about that. We've got a second one here. All right, we've got five of these. We might as well run through them, right? We've been earning these from missions or picking them up. I'm not sure. Ooh, we can win money. Got a hot dog. All right, everyone loves a nice glizzy. Let's see what we can get for round three here. Rockhaven Raisin Sunday White Steezy Unisex Tights. Yeah, I think we're probably going to pass on those. This is reminding me of Forza Horizon, honestly, with the colors and the spin and everything and getting... Crappy pieces of clothing. Wow. Okay, great. Really just absolutely loving this. Let's see. Can we get something? Give me some money. We're trying to make some money. Give me some money. We got to get back up to the... Uh, the ooh, hello. Got to get back up to the pawn shop. We're over encumbered right now, so we're going to sell all the extra stuff. It looks like the flowers, even though they are a decent melee weapon, they might be worth up to $30 which is really really good so i'm gonna sell all of our junk flowers 30 bucks let me sneak up in them pockets girl let me see what you got come on baby give me something good got a uh four dollars cash beautiful we're, we're making our way to becoming a thousand there the awesome dragon dojo all right so we have to actually go to dojos to learn new moves talk to craig how you doing craig Woo ha That's the sound you make when unleashing a devastating move. You want to learn how to destroy your opponents? Awesome dragon style? Well, I've got the technique for you. Flash uppercut will keep your target in the air for a couple of seconds, allowing you to control the fight. So we're going to edit our moves here. This flash uppercut. Nice. So we could assign this. Do we want Q or F? We've got kick, heavy punch, and then flash uppercut. I'm gonna put flash uppercut on our heavy punch. So we've got a kick and then a, an uppercut that's gonna put him up in the air now. Nice. Job complete, got a hundred bucks in a standard chest. Hopefully we get something a little bit better this time. Come on, baby. We're $101 from becoming a thousand air. Another vest. I, I, honestly, we probably could use some some clothing upgrades. Not gonna lie. Oh, we're a dollar away from becoming a thousand air. We need a dollar. Somebody, somebody give me an, oh, there's a snail here. I'm not. Again, not sure what's going on with those. Hop up in them pockets, girl. Got it. Got a, a bag of snail. Why are there so many snails things, dude? There's got to be some... I, the description says something about a snail raceway. Is there like a... a I don't know. 
personal files. Is it like a horse track? Like, are we betting on snails instead of horses or something? I, it, it kind of... See, oh, there's another snail over there. See, do we do we want to be collecting these? I have no idea. We're, I'm, I'm going to work on that. We're going to try to figure that out. I mean, these personal files are worth 30 bucks, so I'm, I'm going to sell these, and bam, we are now over a thousand dollars this is just the beginning though we got a lot more where that came from hey come on bro let's test out our new move oh my goodness and he takes damage all the way down too i love it all right well that is very much worth it so we're making so much money i think we need to learn how to take care of it we've got a mission i think we might be going to the bank it wants us to use the elevator so we'll see what we've got going on here Ooh, look at this fancy spot got a bunch of atms going to meet our banker how you doing sir you're gonna see a lot more of me in the coming weeks and months ah you made it the name's john beggar king asked me to provide you with my services i'm the guy you see when you want your money looked after especially if it uh wasn't earned legally you might have noticed if you're knocked out during your time in the city you take it for everything the only safe cash in this town is the cash you put in your piggy bank that's uh it's the name of our bank you might have already interacted with one of our atms throughout rock haven and you might have noticed it has a strict deposit limit the long and short of it is if we let a million dollars of unwashed cash be deposited the mayor would storm down here and throw us down the hole you scratch my bank and i'll scratch yours head across the room and talk to jern she'll get you started on how to upgrade your account interesting so he wants to be paid to raise our limits right now i think our limit's 50 bucks hey name's jern i'm a financial expert here at piggy bank the inner city's favorite bank welcome so your current card allows you to store up to 50 dollars in one item it's not a lot i know but for modest fees you could upgrade your card tier and store more money in items i'm sure john emphasized you should continue to deposit stuff in case cops beat you down also useful to bring your items into other multiplayer sessions i don't know what that means <laughs> it's my first day I'm just reading the paper in front of me. First upgrade is free. Just pop on over to one of the ATMs and upgrade your account. Sweet. Sounds good to me. So we can uh, upgrade limits. We're going to be able to upgrade to two items. Beautiful. And if we want to upgrade again, it's going to cost us 100 bucks to get a 200 limit. That's not bad. I will say I feel like early on, we don't have much of a risk of dying to cops. So I think I'm going to chill. I'm going to access items. I'm going to, I'm going to move... Can we move our creative? Oh, you can move a whole stack over. What has the most weight here? Whatever has the most weight. Nothing else really has that much weight. Withdraw away. I'm going to put that there. And then that's going to free up our inventory a little bit. So we got a way to become... Uh, I mean, she's not going to be using it anymore. $50 brass ring. Let's go, baby. But yeah, we've got a, a way to be legitimate now. We can, you know, launder our money. It's, uh, you know, eventually going to cost us in upgrades and things, but uh, we can make it legit, get it in a bank account. Who knows, maybe get loans and stuff eventually. $19 cash she was hooking it up to. We're already back above 1000 We did get another case for completing that, so we're going to rip this thing. We haven't had a good one yet. Come on. Okay, these are just absolutely useless, and uh, I think we need... A little bit of shut eye here. We were starting to get tired. So, okay, things are, are coming up. We're starting to become legitimate, but uh, let's, oh my goodness. Now that we've got the perfect way to make it legit, we need to get to making more money. We're gonna talk to Hardware Bob. He's gonna teach us how to hotwire some cars. Your friend Trinson called ahead. You're the prospective car breaker into her, I take it. Go on and take this quality screwdriver, an immaculate pair of pliers, and remember, if you need 100% American-made tools for crimes or otherwise, you come to American Hardware. All right. This car theft is sponsored by American Hardware. Just going to go take this gray car right here. This thing looks pretty nice. So he gave us a, uh, a, a screwdriver and a lock pick. So we want to move this around. So we can access the inventory. An air freshener, a stick. Steel crutch is worth $80. Yes, I'll take that. We got a tennis racket here. Very rare stuff. Beautiful. Those are also weapons that we can use. So we can take stuff from it and then we can... Oh, okay. Hot wire. Easy enough. There's a lot of people... A lot of people... Oh, I'm going to send you the location of a place called Wheelies. You can find them all over the city. They'll junk your car. No questions asked. Beautiful. So we got a, a chop shop. We're going to drive... Okay, so this is this is now our oh there's a nightstick over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this up as well. Oh you 
You can't hold them both? Okay, we're, we're just gonna drive this. This isn't even a, a chop shop. This is a car crusher. Crusher park. To make some quick cash, you can always crush a stolen car. Find a wheelie's garage around the city. Park the car on the crusher platform. Press the big red button outside. Certain cars fetch different prices. Just be sure to be off the platform before hitting the button. The crusher works on humans too. Okay, go ahead and crush it. Job complete. We got 200 bucks, a standard chest. Do we get paid 300 bucks? So we got paid 100 bucks for crushing that car. Hold on, I'm gonna go sell. I'm gonna sell this thing. This is, it's it's way too good not to sell. We're gonna go pick up those other items. I don't know, can you not carry more than one melee item at a time? I feel like that's kind of a mis, oh man. I thought they might disappear. Okay, that's fine. So different cars fetch different prices. Obviously, something like that is a bit of a junker, but if we can find something else that's a bit nicer, that's going to be in our best interest. I'm not seeing a lot of parked cars, but we do have something like this. So if we stole this, we can straight up take it. Oh, we got cops punching. Okay, well... That shouldn't be on me. Are you kidding me? You guys assaulted her and then blamed it on me. I want to see, can I access the inventory here? Got an air freshener. I'll take that. And then if we, if we drive this back to the crusher, we're going to get paid on it, right? Oh gosh, there's a Lambo in that parking lot over there. All right, we're, we're going to go do that. This might be the, the best source of money that we have. Oh, sorry, sir. Uh, really not that sorry, to be honest. Let me crush this. Got a, another hundred bucks for that. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Let me loot him up real quick. I mean, the hundred bucks is going to pay our bounty that we have with the cops right now. Oh, oh boy. This is not good. This is not good. Just going to have to go to work. Police captain? This is probably not something we want to mess with, but I'm just going to go after it. Got them both. All right, that's what I'm talking about. $195 bounty probably isn't the, the place that we want to be. Can we loot these guys? Cops have anything good on them? Uh, seven dollars, not bad. So we're gonna lockpick this. I mean, an Aventador, you gotta have some really good stuff in here, right? Got that. Let me check the trunk. Just an air freshener. Hopefully this is gonna be worth some money. Green, 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 blue. All right, now we're gonna be able to drive this thing, and if we take it over to our little chop shop, hopefully make some money, and then we're gonna have to go pay off our bounty. Or honestly, what we could do, it's 195, we're gonna be wasting it a little bit, but I'm gonna use a 250 bounty ticket, and now we're, we're good to go. Make sure you don't hit the cop when you're backing up. Dude, this thing sounds sick. Gonna back it right in here and let's see, is this a hundred bucks? Is this 200 bucks maybe? I really want to put a person in there. A hundred bucks, okay. Most cars are a are hundred bucks, that's fine. It's time to purchase a business. Why not make it a snail racing club? Okay, Beggar King, you ever heard of the slime way? It's a club in Trenchtown. People gather around, bet on snail races, and generally have a good time. The owner, Shelly, is turning 130 and she's decided to hang up her boots and sell the place off. I try to convince her to work another 20 years, but you know, early retirements are in vogue these days. We can't afford for the property to fall into the mayor's hands. Trenchtown is the last bastion we have. Why not head over to Shelly and see if you can cut a deal to keep it open? Ah, okay. So we've got a legitimate banker now and going to be able to move some money that way. And we, we might be starting to get into some legitimate businesses as well. Although, honestly, snail racing doesn't sound like the most upstanding business of all time. But we'll see. Ooh. Don't mind me always digging through the trash. As expected, we're going down into the... Ooh, slime way. Into the trenches down here in the, the bottom of the barrel. That's where we like to live. Oh, you want to buy the club? Truth be told, some of the mayor's men came around and put a considerable offer, but it's supremely obvious that they just want to close it down. I want the club to go to somebody who cares about the age-old art of snail racing. If you're serious, follow me, and I'll give you a tour of the club. Pay attention, because I don't want to do this twice. My bones hurt. Okay. Start the tour. Welcome to Slime Way. People come from all over to chill out. Place bets on snails, try to outrun piles of salt. What? They're totally fine with it. They could speak English. They'd say, wow, this is fun. Or I love being a snail in this club. <laughs> I don't think they would. Piles of salt. This is kind of a, a little messed up, Shelly. Of course, to keep the club topped up, you need to deposit snails into the Snail Vault 2000. Any snail you find while out in the city is a worthwhile competitor. 
deposit them here and will be stocked for upcoming races. This is the heart of our operation. So this is why we're constantly seeing snails all over the place. So we've been collecting them. I haven't sold any yet. This is actually perfect. We're going to have a good stockpile to make money off of. Here's the office. You can interact with the vault at the back of the room to withdraw profits. Be sure to do that often. It can only fit so much cash. You can use the computer in the office to buy upgrades, or at least that's what the nice young man who installed the computer told me. I have something to admit. I don't know how to use computers. So we've got upgrades. It's going to make cash in the background as long as we stock it with snails. We're going to keep making money. This is pretty exciting. Of course, you can place bets too. Head over to the bookkeeper and pick a snail. If it survives the round, you're a winner. You also get a nice little bonus if your snail reaches the safe zone first. And that's the slime way. It ain't much, but it's a place of refuge for so many, which is doubly important these days. Okay. Appreciate you, Shelly. Now, what, what's it going to take? What's it going to take for me to keep these doors open? What do you need from me? Need me to beat some people up? That's the club, my dear. You'll be good to it. It'll pay you back in kind. Mayor and his goons offered a hefty bag of coin for the place, but I'll let you take it for $1,500. Oh, man. Dude, that's like all the money that we have. Purchase it. We, we got a business. I honestly, I think one of the best ways to make money has to be boosting cars. It's a, a dollar for a screwdriver and a dollar for pliers, and then you can make at least a minimum of a hundred bucks, if not more, depending on what's it. We're, we're making it rain. Okay, so welcome to our new business. We've got some outhouses up front. We've got an ATM, of course, so you can withdraw your cash. And we, oh, we've got cops in here? Okay, I didn't know you were like that, but that, that sounds good. We can deposit our snails. First up, I'm going to grab it. It's a good thing we've been saving these. I'm going to access our items. I'm going to put put these back in our, our inventory. And then, oh, we've got bags of snails too. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to hold on to them for a second. We're going to be a little over encumbered, but we're going to be fine. So I'm going to put all of our snail items on our hot bar. And then we can, uh, we can insert our snails. I'm going to insert all of those and then we're going to insert bags of snails and then we're going to insert crates of snails. Okay. Hub has been leveled up already. Back entrance installs an alternative exit. Slyway makes an additional $50 per day. Safe increase allows another $1,000 to be kept in the office safe. It also makes an additional $50 per day. I want to buy that. How do I buy that? We can manage our upgrades over here. We're for sure buying... I mean, a safe increase is a, a no no brainer. Snail Vault 2000. There's a gift shop. Okay, dude, this is sick. VIP boots. I mean, we're not quite at that level yet, but right now we're making five hundred and fifty dollars per day, and it stores up to two thousand dollars. So we need to make sure every three to four days we're collecting. Do we have any money in here off the rip? Hundred and twenty-five bucks to start. I'm gonna I'm gonna pickpocket a cop. This feels like a really bad idea. Let's see what he's got. Oh my goodness. $50 bounty ticket. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh. Is it? We just had a race. Okay, I, I, wanna, I wanna bet. I wanna bet. I wanna play. Bets are disabled. We can't play yet. We're waiting. We need more contestants. Oh, the con contestants are in. What do you guys think? Which one are we feeling here? I'm gonna say, ooh, the, the, gray and, the gray and red looks nice. Afterglow. I'm betting Afterglow. I'm gonna bet 20 bucks. That's all we can bet is 20. Oh, you can see their stats. Indy's new. Afterglow has survived. Riley has survived. Star Trail has survived. Interesting. Okay, it's... I gotta be honest, it's kind of sad that... It's kind of sad that it's about surviving and not winning. Come on, baby. Come on, Afterglow. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Afterglow, what are you doing? You're in last place. You better hurry it up. Let's go. There's salt behind you. You don't mix with salt. Oh, my... This is inhumane. This is really sad. Go, Afterglow. Go, 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 go. Dude, I'm nervous for him. Oh, the, the pink and green one is done. Afterglow, you better go. You better go. You better go. You be oh, oh, he's sweating. The pink and green one is sweating. Afterglow, come on. Come on. Cheer, 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 cheer. Come on. No, no, no. Oh, he had a last minute win. Let's go. Dude, what? I didn't know we could help him out. He survived. Indy won. Riley got second place. Starstruck got third place. We doubled our money. Dude, this is lit. I want to bet uh, Reflection and India both won. I'm going to bet on Starstruck. Hasn't won yet. Let's go. Come on, Starstruck. 
Come on, baby. Wait, are we on the wrong one? How do I, I feel like I'm cheering for the wrong one. I, I'm just cheering in, in general. I, I don't want to cheer for this one, though. I want to cheer for mine. I'm circling around the pink one. I don't know how. I don't know how to get on the. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Go, 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 go. Get the win. Get the dub. Get the dub. Whoa, we're not going to get the dub. Look at the guy up top. Hey, we might be able to make some more money, though. Oh, he's tired. He's leaning over. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're going to die if you don't. Get the heck out of there. Oh, our one from the last time is about to die right now, I think. Come on! Go! 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 We're gonna die. We got it. Beautiful. Okay. We can't stay here and do this all day, but that was fun. Who's... Oh, this is Shelly in the corner. You know what the kids respect? Being annoying in service of selling product. Put on a snail suit and pop a sign to your inventory. Equip and use it to spread the good word about the club. It works the same as any item, so get between a bunch of people and fire away to send them on down here. Now get out there and embarrass yourself for financial gain. Wait. She just gave us a snail suit. And we can dance. I'm hitting the ground floor running with my business, baby. Starting from the trenches, literally underneath them. We were down in the sewers. There is nothing that can embarrass me. I'm going to go find the largest group of people I can, and I am dancing my heart out. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Come on down to Slimeway. She's going... I thought she was going straight to the ATM, but she she just left. Okay, that's that's fine. You guys should totally head downstairs and go make some money. I mean, everybody likes to dance with us, but it, it doesn't lead to them going downstairs. You know what I can do is I'll just steal from you. You're either going to deposit on my snails or I'm, I'm going to take it on my own retro controller. Let's go. Can I go in other local businesses? Let's go. Uh-huh. I feel like maybe if it's people close to Slimeway, we can get them to just immediately turn around and run down there. Here, I'm going to collect you so you can do my bidding and I can potentially end up killing I feel I it's a pretty shady business to be in but I mean we got to start somewhere right eventually we're gonna have something that we feel like we can actually contribute to society now we can hire a sign spinner that will do this for us I mean that makes sense to me upgraded another hub we upped our rep is he gonna count towards this challenge or we do we have to do this ourselves I, I mean if we keep doing this the thing is we're going to increase our, our rating really quickly. I, I might do it a couple of times. Look at this poser. I'm going to pickpocket my own side spinner. <laughs> Bro, this game is absolutely savage. I mean, I feel like this is, it, it's, it's doing double time. You know, we're completing a mission that we're getting paid for. We're advertising our company, so we're making more money. We're getting the, the rep bonuses so that we make even more money and we get more upgrades. It's, it's kind of a infinite loop here i feel like and this is a good spot because there are so many people especially during the daytime this is an actual cheat code look at this all the all the moms out here just gonna get them all got five of them right there all right so that's i, I did it three times we made it 600 bucks we keep getting the 25 slime way rep and then we leveled our hub up now i think everything you do if you add snails if you place bets if you do whatever it, it just constantly kind of keeps leveling up hmm. you come on over here away from the cop i dare you just going to work. All right. Just had to take care of business really quick. But uh, yeah, I think that's a, uh, a good spot to stop it. We've got a budding business. We've got legitimate bank accounts. We've got a lot of things going for us here. We're tired. So we need to uh, need to get some shut eye. But things are looking pretty good, man. We're we're coming on up in the world. We've got six hundred and seventy nine dollars in a business that's making us five hundred and fifty bucks a day. That's pretty solid. This is the most money we've ever had. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want more from this game, let me know. It's, it's a fun game. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I was intrigued by this game, and now I'm kind of falling in love with it. So, if you guys want more, drop a like. I'll see you later. Peace out.